What's up, gamers? Welcome back to another Madden 16 commentary, guys. We're looking at uh, the top five defensive tips uh, to improve for Madden 16. Now, these are the top five things that you can do uh, right now just to get better, just to get ready for Madden 16. And uh, number one, uh, what we want to talk about first and foremost, right off the bat, is better team selection. Uh, guys, one of the biggest problems that people have in Madden NFL uh, 15 and, and also for Madden 16 uh, going forward is they, they just pick the wrong team. Um, they pick the wrong personnel. They don't pick uh, players uh, that really coincide with what they want to do. And uh, this is the this is the mindset. And, and what we want to do is the, the basic concept here is to choose the team that best suits your scheme. And so what we see by that is we what we want to do is we want to pick uh, you know the, the, the lovely opportunity we have and even a Madden Ultimate team is we have the opportunity to, to, to pick, hand pick who we want to play with. And, uh, you know, for example, for a 4 3 type scheme, we can use uh, the 49ers or the Seahawks who have good uh, 4 3 defenses. And then we want, if we want to run a scheme like a like a nickel or or a a, a, a a dime package, we have access to that as well uh, with our opportunity to use uh, uh, teams like the the Bengals or or the Dallas Cowboys or, or teams like that who have you know more corners and better corners and things like that. So so that's the first thing first is pick a team that, that best suits your scheme. If you're running uh, a four three, uh, don't pick a team that's built for a three four. And that's the basic idea um, of what we're trying to get at here. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about secondly is is to not uh, to not just have one play, but to have a full uh, system, a full repertoire uh, of options that you can have here. And I think that this is one of the things that we just, as a community, uh, we don't emphasize enough. And we go to YouTube and we search for these defensive tips, and the first thing that we look for is the best blitz in Madden NFL 16 or the best money player, the best gadget player, whatever. And while it's good to have good blitzes and it's good to have good money plays, one of the things that we need to get over is that we cannot simply have money plays. We must have a full system. In Madden, we cannot simply run one play without a system behind it. And one of the things that I'm challenging you to do this season is to stop searching for the best blitzes on YouTube and to start finding plays that fit together well as a whole. This is at the heart of Madden NFL 16 for me is I want to give you a provide an opportunity for you to have a system and not just one play and that is the whole reason that I am doing my offensive and defensive ebooks is to get us to these systems as opposed to just simply breaking down plays for you and so I encourage you to have a system to not only have one blitz but to have a blitz that comes from the left a blitz that comes from the right a blitz that allows you uh, to to, to have plays that work off of it, a blitz that allows you to, to send pressure from the right, from the left, from both sides, from up the middle, a blitz that allows you to stop the run, a, a coverage defense, a, a blitz from zone, and a blitz from man coverage. All of those things are important when we talk about plays and play selection. And I just, I, I cannot stress enough how important it is to have a system and not just have a play. The next thing I want to uh, talk about is to not sweat the small stuff. Guys, and Madden, this is very difficult. It's hard not to, se to sweat the small stuff. In Madden, it, it, it just seems that the, the, the defense is hard, and it gets harder every year. Uh, and, and the harder defense is, the more aggressive we try to play. And uh, if we try to play aggressive, what we continue to find in Madden, and this is one of my weaknesses as well, the more aggressive we play, the harder uh, defense becomes for us. As you see this player I'm playing is playing a lot of coverage defense, a lot of zone, uh, a lot of basic plays like that, and uh, I'm having difficulty uh, in, in, in consistently beating his defense. Uh, he's doing a great job user playing my, my routes and things like that, and you're seeing um, it's hard. Uh, it's hard that he's, he's just blitzing four guys and, and, and playing a basic cover three style of, a, of an approach here. And it's been a, a rather difficult possession for me offensively. And so this is what we're trying to say, to stop sweating that five-yard run or that three-yard completion, to stop um, sweating 
all of that stuff that we, we constantly do uh, on, on defense, to play a bend-but-do-not-break style of defense that forces our opponent to drive up the field and consistently beats our multiple coverages and our multiple looks. That's the key. That's the goal in defense, and that's the goal for me, and I hope the goal for you this season, is to build a defense that is hard to beat simply because it's bend-but-don't-break style in nature. Okay, and then um, the fourth style that I want to, or the fourth tip that I want to go over is practice, 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 and practice some more. Lab, lab, lab. The best defenses, guys, quite simply, they have the best preparation, and it's very simple. That the best defenses have the best preparation, and to have success on the defensive side of the ball is to spend hours in practice mode working on different defenses for different situations. Guys, this is at the heart of everything that I teach. Practice mode is where champions are built. We're built in the, the training camp sessions, the right now, the summer months. This is where the best players get better and become the, the great players that they are today. Um, guys, I, I can preach this and preach this and preach this, but again, what I want to consistently get back to is we have to get into the mind of the offense. We have to we have to learn, and, and, and so what this means is we, we work on defenses for every formation. We work on learning what offense's goal is, what they're trying to do, the plays behind it. All of those things are important uh, when talking about labbing defensively. And, and so what I want to say is this. We simply cannot know what to call if we do not know what we are facing. And so as a culture, as a community, as a defense, defensive-minded players, we must start turning off ultimate team and start loading up in practice mode. We must forever, and I, and I get at this and I say, this is my promise to you. If you spend two to three hours a week in practice mode, more than you already spend, I promise you, you will win more games and you will have more success on defense. Guys, for more tips on how to practice uh, and, and how to lab and how to do that, there's a video I'm going to let you see, and there's a link in the description. You can check that out. Uh, but I think that it is so important, and so I just encourage you guys to check that out. Uh, and then finally, our final tip, and this is kind of the, the whole key to this whole thing, and I, and I really want to emphasize this. All the tips we've just covered are effective, and this one is no different, but I, I really think that this is the, the nutshell flexibility over frailty and what I mean by this is that defense is the best opportunity for creativity in Madden the fact that you can every snap you can put 11 players in 11 different assigned locations is baffling to me and it gives you the flexibility to stop everything in Madden NFL 16 it gives you the flexibility to be able to stop screens to be able to stop uh, running plays to be able to stop um, you know, deep passes, all of the things that we struggle with in Madden, the flexibility in the hot route system allows us to cover every single thing our opponent can do. Guys, um, you know, we can send the same blitz from cover two shells. We can send the same blitz from cover three shells. We can we can change it. We can send coverages, different formations. Everything is everything is revolved around this simple idea that as uh, as a defense we have the opportunity to change based off of what the offense is doing. That is something the offense doesn't necessarily have that we have to take advantage of. We have to capitalize on it and we have to use it to our advantage because quite frankly we don't have many advantages on the defensive side of the ball and so we must use it uh, to our advantage and we must take advantage of the fact that we have flexibility and we have creativity on our side and, and it's all about being flexible, all about changing, all about adjusting. I can't give you one play. The idea that one play or one money blitz is going to give you success is insane. And people who live off of one money play defensively never win Madden challenges. And in Madden 13, problem with the 46 bear under had an easily adjustable defense in which he made adjustments after adjustments after adjustments to this. And it benefited him in the long run. He came out on top because he had a defense that he could send pressure from with both ways, had flexibility, could change the looks behind it, and did a great job in the Madden Challenge. It's something that we cannot ignore going forward. If we want to have a great defense, we have to be flexible, and we cannot simply look 
live in this frail and brittle shell. We cannot be so close-minded to flexibility that we don't adjust and that we just continue to call the blitz out of cover three and we just continue to leave our safeties in the deep blue even though you know they are getting torched uh, and maybe we should put our middle linebacker in the deep blue and the, the ability to have that is baffling to me. The fact that we have that flexibility and so that is what I'm getting at guys. That's the that's the real goal here is, is, is we are flexible. We have to be flexible, otherwise we're not going to win. It's very simple, and um, and I just really pray that you guys uh, see that. I really hope that you do because it's it's crucial. It's crucial to your offense it's, uh, or to your defense in Madden. Uh, it's crucial to uh, success in this year's game. I promise you that it is so, so, so important. Um, for you guys to, to, to really take hold of what I'm saying. And so in review, guys, the top five tips uh, to be better overnight for Madden NFL 16, better team selection up front. I, I believe that this is the most important tip I can give is better team selection. Picking a team that truly fits your scheme, not a team that, that you want to fit your scheme or your favorite team, but picking a team that truly fits your scheme. Secondly, Having a system, not just one play. Have a defense. Have a thought process. Have purpose to what you do. Do not just do stuff just to do stuff. Third, don't sweat the small stuff. Um, you know, don't sweat the little three-yard completion or the four-yard run. Uh, but but rather, you know, make a bend but don't break mentality and and really force your opponent uh, to have to to have to truly uh, drive up the field on you. Fourth, practice, 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 and practice some more. Get in practice mode, learn the game, learn how it works, practice your defenses against every single thing you can, and then finally, flexibility over frailty. Be able to adjust on the fly and know that you're going to have to adjust on the fly. Those are my top five tips to improve.